When demonstrators blocked Powell Street next to Union Square, police moved in. Workers from 14 downtown hotels have been without a contract for about three weeks, and they accuse employers of stalling negotiations. Get up, stand up. Yes, Hotel workers in San Francisco voted overwhelmingly in favor of going on strike if negotiations with the hotels don't produce a contract soon. Get up. Hundreds of San Francisco hotel workers are on strike tonight. They don't understand us. We need our benefits. So without benefits, we are nothing over here in this city. This city is too expensive to live. This is my future and my future of my kids and my, the future of our uh, co-worker. day three of the San Francisco hotel workers strike, the hotels struck back. They don't give us any respect at all. The reason why the hotels are making money is because of the workers. Well, it's noisy, but it's for good cause. I believe in that. I'm here to support the effort. These are very courageous people. They know that they, they know that they're making an enormous sacrifice out here on the picket line. We want our health care. We want our rights, and we deserve it. Don't surrender. No. Don't let them break your spirit. Sometimes you gotta stick with the guns, you gotta stick with your principle and fight to the end. Picketers outside the Sheraton Palace Hotel here in downtown San Francisco got a, an emotional boost tonight when vice presidential candidate John Edwards stopped by to show his support. Guayando. I'm showing my solidarity for Local 2 and the workers. I'm showing my solidarity for the people of San Francisco. There's no restaurants. There's no room service. There's no coffee in my room. Obviously, the services that they're providing to us are less than what we had contracted for. I look at that and I go, well, I don't want to be staying here. As a matter of fact, we're going to go to Fisherman's Wharf tonight to get away from this area. Some Hawaii Hotel Union employees didn't work today to support the mainland union members by not crossing picket lines. Hawaii hotel workers are not on strike. These are local two members of San Francisco Union. They've been in a bitter labor dispute over health and retirement benefits. San Francisco's striking hotel workers brought their fight to Monterey County today. We are one union. We're united here, and we're all together. Whatever they don't get in San Francisco, we won't get two years from now. <laughs> We come from San Francisco. San Francisco, We demand of Kiyoya Corporation that they end the lockout. some 
good news tonight for thousands of locked out hotel workers and their families. Mayor Gavin Newsom today announced they'll be able to keep their health care coverage through the holidays. I've had complications in the past, so I'm very grateful for today for Local 2 and the mayor for announcing that we're really going to extend our medical coverage so that I can go into my surgery. Tonight, the lockout is over and workers expect to go back to their jobs before Thanksgiving. Everybody that is happy that we're not going to spend our Thanksgiving here. We'll be back there working. That's what we want. We're going to stand by our union and United Union too. I feel very touching because everybody stand up together. We feel more uh, confident and more powerful. We will not stop until we get our contract. We will fight for our rights. Are you ready to let them go? We are Robert Duke. We are Robert Duke.